Hi everyone, in this tutorial, we're going to add a mega menu in our Dawn team. So this is what we're having here. It should be in the header under the announcement bar, and you should have an option to add a mega header. And it's going to look like this. I call this one the check our products area is the mega header. It should be like a caption and you can have a own background. And then also you can have the photo or image corresponds to the parent link. So the vegan hair care essential is the parent link. And this is going to be the children, the hair loss treatment and the hair shampoo and hair conditioner. And you also have an option to add a photo. So, so this is a picture actually in here. I just grabbed this photo somewhere and um, you can also add more in here. So you can still have the mega header on the CR option. And then you can have multiple links to it in a picture or an image. And this image can be resized. So when we go to skincare in here, you should be able to resize your um, image and this is by percentage. You can put 100% on this one. So that's the 100%. And then you can also make the drawer. So the container here is the drawer. So you can make the drawer full width, which is going to be like this size right here. You can just check or uncheck. The home button, it's really up to you if you want to add it or not. If you don't want to have an home button, just take out the word home. So the home word is tied to the link for your home page. And you don't have to put the, the link that goes with the home. You don't have to have the mega URL because I already have that option to put it on the home page URL. You can add a product in the mega menu and you can also not have a caption, just have a color on the top and everything should work the same. The more button doesn't have a drawer, so it's just a link. So you have to provide the mega URL link and you can change the color of the header. This is the mega header and then you can change the mega header background right here. You can have an image and the image would be at the bottom part and you can also add a link to the image so it's clickable there's a mega link here and then also the mega product as well so you can just add one product so in here in the header you can still change the background to whatever you want and also change the logo width make it bigger and also the position so let's make it a little bit smaller and then this is the middle left and then you can have top left and then top center so that one's still gonna work and you can still have the show separator line and then the sticky header so it should still work only the static menu is not going to work on your header you can add more blocks in here and you can reposition them on whatever you want so it also works with mobile. So when you go to mobile view, just the same, but you're not going to have the photos in there and you can still have the drop downs. So it should work. And uh, I believe that's it. To start, we have to go to your Shopify store or admin store. We're going to go here and we're going to go to the teams and we're not going to edit the live team. For me, we're going to edit the Dawn team that I have not customized yet. So we're going to click actions and then edit code. And then we're going to close the layout and template folder. We're going to open the section folder and look for header that liquid. So find that under your section folder. So header that liquid. And we're just going to make our screen bigger. And then we're going to go to our website. And we're just going to find this menu drawer navigation with a nav tag on it. So we're going to go on our website, copy that, control C, and then go back to our code editor. And we're going to control F to find it here. And we should see one here. It should not be the container. It should be the nav, like the nav tag here. Click on the nav tag so it highlights it with yellow. And you should see the closing nav tag. So we're going to delete this code though. 
all the way to the nav tag and then we're gonna click backspace and i like to do a separation so i know where i added the code so just put it like this and then highlight it and then control and slash forward and just the same as here we're just gonna copy this one control c to copy and then paste it here we're going to go back to our website again and grab this code right here. Click to copy and then go back to our code editor and paste the code right here. I like to make this look better. So just highlight it and then click shift tab. We're going to go find another navigation tag. We're going to go down here from our website and we're going to look for header and line menu. This is for the desktop. So we're going to go back to our code editor again and control F to find and control V to paste that code right here. So in here, you have to delete that F section settings menu. So you have to delete also the end F at the, the end part of it. So click on the nav and you should be able to see the highlighted um, closing nav. That's what I'm saying. We have to delete the end F because we don't need the section settings menu is not black. So we're going to delete that and we're going to do the same here. We're going to do a separation. It's just me. If you don't like it, you don't have to do it. So I'm just going to highlight it and control slash forward. And then I'm just going to copy this one, control C to copy and I'm going to paste it here. And we're going to go back to our website again and then copy this code. And control V to paste and I'm going to highlight this one so it looks better. And then click shift tab. And we're going to go back to our website again and we're going to grab the schema. So we're going to copy this one. And in our code editor, we're going to go all the way down. And before this bracket right here, we're going to add the code. So we're going to bring this one down and then control V to paste this one here. It should be before this last bracket. And then that's it for the header that liquid. Well, actually, we're going to add another code later. But the next one is to add an CSS file. So we're going to go to asset folder. So let's close the section folder and then open the assets folder and add a new asset and this one i'm gonna name mega heather and then make sure it's a dot css and add a new asset and we're gonna find the css file here and we're gonna go back to our website again go all the way down and then just grab this code right here and then we're gonna control v to paste it in here so i did make some comments in here on what to do you can change the drawer background and then the colors right here and um, you can modify those and then click save and um the next one is to add this mega dash header css to our header that liquid so we're just gonna go all the way to the top and then grab the code that we have here down below and then just paste it anywhere but i really like it on the top part so just anywhere here and then click save so make sure you have the same name mega dash header dot css for this to work and i believe that's it so next we have to download our photos when you go to customize the team so right click on that and i'm just going to open a new tab you should be able to see the header here and it should have a add mega header so when you click the header part the enter the mega link images if you look on our example here this is what i have when we go to desktop right here so the vegan hair care essentials is the parent link um, i'm going to explain more later this should be matching to the name of the photo or the image you should replace the space with a dash or a hyphen and have it on um, lowercase and then add the file extension right here and um, it should be like the name of the file that the uh, file extension and comma and that's how you add and then um, it should match the parent link so when you go to your Shopify store or let's just accept this one because we're done in here 
um, when you go all the way out so you can see the navigation so when you go like online store and then have the navigation right here this is all my navigation menus and every block has its own link the example when we go to hair essentials the parent link is the vegan hair care essentials and uh, the bottom part is the children the hair loss treatment the hair shampoo and the hair condition so the title hair essentials is not gonna appear on our mega menu it's gonna be your own name here so when you go to products this is the title that you're gonna see so if you want to have the same title on your link just copy the hair essentials in here to add your image, uh, you have to go to settings and then we're going to go all the way to files right here. I already added my image, so I named them like this one right here, Wavy Hair Essentials, and then the file name is PNG. So make sure you have the same file name that you uploaded. And then to upload the, the photos, you click upload files. And then go to the folder you have your photos so for me i have it on here and you can just highlight them and then open them at once and it will take a while for the shopify to um, save the file so just wait for it and if you don't see it just refresh your browser and i believe that's it let me know if you have any question and thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe